Hello, everyone. Uh, this is another in a series of my comic art commissions that I have been doing lately. This is the first piece that I'm showing that is not a jam piece. I mean, you could call it one because it has more than one character, but since they're both done by the same guy, it doesn't qualify as a jam piece in my book. So anyway, this piece is from Barry Kitson. It was at the Boston Comic-Con, um, I believe it was two years ago. I don't think it was last year. I believe it was two years ago. Barry Kitson has been on my radar for several, several years. I had seen him at Baltimore um, probably five years ago. And Barry Kitson at that time was drawing for free. Free being free. And meaning whatever you wanted for free. You just had to wait in his line. And in that line, the, the assistant he had explained it as, it's like a community. You sit, you talk, or you stand, you talk. You know, you kind of try to enjoy yourself as Barry draws. Barry is a methodical drawer. Um, uh, he puts a lot of effort into it, a lot of thought into it. And it takes forever. And I don't mean forever as a bad thing, but I mean forever as a frustrating thing. I, I was in Barry's line twice. Um, and I think I, the most I lasted was a couple hours and I just couldn't do it. It seemed like the line wasn't moving. He could take care of so many more people if he drew slightly less, but even if he was doing one figure, if I said, Hey, Mr. Kitson, can you do Spider-Man for me? And he just did Spider-Man. You can see the amount of, of the quality that you're getting shadings on the watercolor. And on top of that, he did a great background. So I'm going to get into this in just a sec. But anyway, so from the Barry Kitson line in Baltimore, I ended up with uh, a couple of pages. I dropped out. I was checking out his portfolio. I bought a couple pages. And I'm very happy I did. They're two of my favorite pages. So anyway, so fast forward to the Boston show. I happened to get in early. A friend of mine and I were scoping out the whole show. I finally find Barry Kitson's table. And I plant myself. I'm the only one there. I plant myself right there. Don't even move. Whew. I'm finally going to get my kitchen piece for the goose. So here comes the assistant and he lines up portfolios and blah, blah, blah. And I said, so he goes, he asks, he goes, what are you going to get? I'm like, well, I, I plan on getting a full figure if that's okay. You know, I, I, I told him I, I kind of, Got out of the line a couple of times. I'm really looking forward to it. And he goes, well, just to let you know, the system has changed a little. Wouldn't you know it? The system has changed a little. The minute I'm ready to rock. So he explains it to me that Barry is no longer doing things for free. And I believe that is going to be because, sure, you stand in line for it. But the minute you get it, you see the, the potential value of it. And bam, it's on eBay. So... I guess that was some dealers and, and other things. I said, okay, whatever. He says, but if you buy a page or another piece of art from the portfolios that totals up to $150, you will get whatever you want for free. Or you can pay $150 for your art. Well, kind of not really a, a problem at that point. The equation equals out to go find something you like in the in the portfolio. So I found a decent Batman page that he had. It wasn't, it wasn't my favorite. It still isn't, but I was walking away with something. And so Barry sits down and he says, Hey, how you doing? I had a friend of mine go in front of me. He was just getting a quick headshot. And so I sit down he goes, what can I draw for you? And I said, uh, Spider-Man. Okay. He goes, yeah, sure. And he's got the English accent. He's a very nice guy, quiet, he doesn't stop talk. He doesn't stop drawing when he talks, which is nice. He talks and he draws. He converses. He likes the interaction of the fan. So 
that's why he does his line like that. He doesn't want to just take a list, leave me alone. I'll draw what you want. I'll collect your money and you'll be on your way. He talks to you the whole time. So, and I said, I hope you don't mind. I'd like classic costume. And sometimes people don't like it because you have, you know, all the webbing, all the lines, the whole thing. He goes, nope, no problem whatsoever. Uh, color black and white. I said, oh, color. <laughs> so I was trying not to be a pain, but this is probably the one time I'm going to be in his line. So I'm going to get whatever I want. So he starts kind of knocking it out. He does his little sketchy thing and blah, blah, blah. And then he kind of looks at me and he says, if I was going to add another character, who would you like? Oh, man. Putting me on the spot like that is never good. I I froze. I absolutely froze. And I, and I was kind of like, uh, and I just came out with whoever you'd like to draw, sir. Now, on second thought, and by now it's over the 100th thought, it might have been something that is a contrasting color, like um, either Hobgoblin or... Uh, the lizard, the green, the purple, but anyway, so he just started knocking it out. I couldn't quite figure it out at first, but once he started getting the hair, I said, oh, okay, cool. Black hat. I'm not complaining. They were a cool team back in the day. So he starts, and then he starts in with the watercolors and I'm following him the whole time. I'm like, holy crap, I'm getting one hell of a piece here. Um, and so he, he gets all this done and then he starts drawing all these angled lines everywhere. And I had no idea. I just thought it was kind of going to be like this, just a lot of kind of something in the background area. But, and, and then he starts going across, as you can see here, he starts going across and he does a couple of squares here, a square here. And I'm still, I'm, I'm lost. And, and then I'm looking at it, trying to kind of figure it out. Cause remember, I'm, I'm looking at it as he, is drawing it. So I'm looking at it like this and I still haven't quite got it. And then I started kind of trying to look closer a little and that's when I got it. He's drawing a background of a city. So, and he just by, you know, drawing lines and, and grids and he guy comes up with a city just like that. I mean, I, I was amazed what I got. I mean, this, this art alone, if I was to go sell it would probably bring over well over 400, maybe five, $500. I couldn't be happier with this. This is one of my favorite pieces. I have probably five or six favorite pieces. This is one of them. If I would put them into some type of category, this would be my favorite one, of my, one or one of the two of my favorite large pieces. Um, it's a color Spider-Man and black cat with background watercolor by Barry Kitson from the Boston Comic Con in 2013, so it was two years ago, um, uh, and that is the story for this piece of art. Thank you for watching. I hope you come back. I'm going to try to post every couple of weeks or so. I also post some silver vids. Um, anyway, you can always visit my site if you would like, www.thespiderfiles.com. Um, most of the stories that I tell here are on there, but I get to enunciate and emote a little more on the video. Um, thank you for watching. Please comment if you would like and have a very nice day.